Today, uh, after that, uh, God come and touched me. I was sleeping very much. I, w- I was. He always may make me be very tired after he has spoken, and I. I think it is um, the energy that he drain out from me and uh, spread it out to you that listen and um, and that I also get when I when God want me to do healing on people when I have people in front of me and I touch them uh, and uh, I be very sleepy tired after and I have to go and sleep for many hours, even if it's not night. Um, and I do, did it today. It was maybe four or five hours I was sleeping in the daytime, not the night. Uh, so uh, I hope that one day God will heal my body. And uh, so far, have I been okay in my body? I still have uh, the the leg uh, bad, uh, but not so bad as I have been. So it's some kind of healing. And I understand, I understand uh, what's going on. It's because I have so much uh, inflammation, infection in my my body that make me get this uh, high blood pressure and all other issues. But the, the doctor here in Sweden, they are careful uh, when they give out uh, antibiotics. So I don't get the... Uh, a real uh, package of anti uh, antibiotic uh, for uh, antibiotics for my body, so it's uh, going bad again. Uh, and I try to uh, today. I I eat wrong thing because I I bought me a birthday cake. And not a, a big, uh, but a, a real uh, cake because I wanted to celebrate that I was to the police today, and I I got my ID that is in plastic ID that we have here in Sweden, and it is for. Uh, European Union countries to only show them that it's enough we don't need really a passport but I know that they ask for passport anyway so that doesn't is it not okay in European Union to only come with a plastic ID uh, they don't understand it and um, so I have now a new passport and a new ID with my real name, Anna Virginius. That is my true name from, from heaven. So I wear it now. Now it's gone. There's other names. And uh, I'm going to to erase it, uh, uh, take it away from from where I have it placed. And uh, that's a hard work to do uh, on my podcast because it's so much uh, episodes that I have done. I'm happy for that. But it's hard work now when I should change the name. And... Um, 
So I wanted to celebrate it like it's uh, I have been baptized today with that name and I celebrate it with a cake. And that's something I should not uh, do uh, very often uh, or if I can take it away at, at all, not uh, eat such crap more. And um, I choose a blueberry cake. And uh, so that's uh, what I am going to show you uh, on the, this episode, the cover of the episode, because that's the big thing today I have done. But uh, the, the biggest is that God came and touched me and talk, was talking. And it's, uh, uh, if you have noticed that, uh, or if you know that, that when God is coming and talking, he don't talk so much. It's only a few words. And that's enough for to understand what he wants to target the subject. And we are we that is close to God we understand it even if we don't use more than two words for what we use for ten words for explain thing. We understand it anyway and he's short in his talking and um, he is showing me pictures so he didn't needed to talk so much to me. I understood his pictures that he gave me. Um, and um, I, I wanted, uh, it was two things I wanted to tell you with this chapter. It was this, that I was very tired and sleep many hours after God come and touch me and hope there was healing in it and then um, it was that I got my new ID that from today it's gone the other names my father gave me that name I have been using my whole life that he gave me when he was drunk and sitting in a bar and then they were talking about a girl in a movie and then he wanted uh, wanted me to have that name. It was a drunk bad name and now I have this name that the angel was telling my, my mother that I should have that name. And um, I am born in C-section, so I, that was what the do doctor wanted me to uh, be born at that day when, when that we have here in Sweden, the day name, we have this uh, birth, uh, birth names that we have in uh, in calendar in uh, dates and we we celebrate them uh, not so much anymore but in the past we did it very much and uh, i am born on anna day uh, but that was nothing in, uh, like um, a normal birth because the doctor decided me to be born on that day because he had to open my mother's womb to take me out so that's not something normal it was in the doctor's mind and it was placed by heaven that I should be born on that 
day when the name was Anna. And uh, I know it since before because when I was in the United States and uh, I was homeless and I had no money at all to pay a flight ticket back to Sweden, my daughter's father, he was talking to me in the, in the telephone and he said that he had been thinking about my situation in the United States, that I was moving, moving, moving and was homeless and had no money. And he said that I don't want my my daughter's mother to die in the United States, he said. So he sent me a airplane ticket. And uh, you know, if, if, if you that have followed me, you know that he is uh, like mental sick. Uh, but he, he seems be okay, but he is this um, psychopathic person and or narcissist is very close to each other these two uh, and uh, he should never never ever help me if it was not someone that talked to him inside his mind and make him uh, send me a flight ticket that was very expensive to buy. And uh, the same was in when I was in Seattle, Washington State. I, I uh, called the man in Chicago and asked him for help. And he, he uh, bought me a ticket also. And uh, on his way from the airport to his home, he said to me, I don't understand how I could buy this flight ticket to you. He's shaking his head the whole time in the car. And I, un I didn't understand what he was talking about. But later on, when I come to know him, do, do, did I knew that he never ever gave one dollar to any person. He, so, but he bought a flight ticket. I think he, for uh, 20 years ago it cost uh, almost $800 to bring me to Chicago. And uh, so those those in afterlife they can pick uh, pick people that is not really understand this with heaven and God and not uh, not are in into God at all. Those two men was not into God at all. And, but they did because they got it inside their mind that they should do this uh, uh, to me. So uh, those in afterlife or God, they can take someone, you look at the person and you see that uh, God will never, ever, ever speak to them and because they are so far from God. But God and afterlife can use them as their tools for to help us. So you should never say that in t inside your mind that uh, this person, he will never or she will never ever help me because they they are never in the church. I am not in a church. 
And you know why God is coming and talking to me. And it doesn't mean anything that the person is in a church. I have got more help from people that is not in church. They never are in a church, but they have helped me very much. It's not in the church they help me. There, um, I maybe when I was homeless, and was in a church, I could get twenty dollar from someone. And um, the bad thing, I was in the church, and and they knew that I was homeless and I had no money and uh, those I was in black church it, but it doesn't matter because I was never in white church because God didn't want me to go to white church I was in 98% was in black church when I was homeless and um, There was sitting in the church those women with those expensive big hats. And I sit, they wanted me to sit with them. That's what they felt because I was white and I I was allowed to sit with them. And they knew I didn't have one dollar. And uh, they gave, gave me money uh, but they didn't give me money for me to to could eat or uh, get uh, the worst thing was that I was still have them monthly bleeding so I needed uh, those pads and but I didn't have the money for to buy pads and but uh, those money that I got from them, it was to give to the church, and they were the ladies, the mother of the church. So those that money they gave to me was going to themselves. It was not for me to use it uh, outside the church. It was to give to the church. That uh, it's uh, yeah 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 you can say double faced, very double faced, and they did didn't give me anything to eat, uh, nothing in money or nothing, but to give me money to uh, take it to the church and give back to the church, and I did. Because they told me to do so. So I did it. It was not my money. And um, so the, I have uh, met more bad things inside the church. What is what bad is outside. No, it, it was 20 years ago. So we didn't have so much with... Uh, Muslim people to do here uh, in Sweden when I come back no uh, there was no black people there was no Muslims it was very much Swedish when I come back in 2004 to Sweden but later on we got all these people that couldn't live in their own country they they thought they should get money in Sweden, so they come here. And of course, it's not everyone. There is good people also that are coming to Sweden from other countries and that help us, but but very much uh, bad people have been coming to Sweden today. And we have this situation that I have told you about this with the burning of the Quran and we don't, they don't understand Swedish uh, 
way to live our life and and we don't know them i know know very much about other countries but uh, swedish in those ordinary people here in sweden they don't understand they thinking in a swedish way because that's what they know so there are big conflicts very much and it's it's maybe building up something uh, the big tsunami now uh, that the afterlife have told me I told you for three two two three years ago that it should be this year should be the the top the the highest edge of the tsunami and they, it seems like it will be because it's very much heat building up in many different way of heats all over the world today and uh, we that uh, have a little brain to think with we know it's a, that uh, we waiting like the birds are waiting in a tree for heavy rain to come they stop singing and wait and that's what's going on just now for for us to to see all these signs that is building up now and uh, so uh, that was what i wanted to tell you that that i have got my ids now in my real true name and it will not be changed that what it is and i don't know why heaven uh, after life wanted me to buy a passport because it was enough to have id card because i can use it in, in european union but if i go away from uh, more far away and like the united states i need to have a passport and uh, what i wanted to say before i ended this chapter is that i do every day i do my family tree and now when i started this chapter i was uh, coming to uh, columbus in ohio you are the the one that have uh, downloaded most of the chapters the uh, every chapter you have followed someone in colombo ohio and i want to tell you that i have come to colombo ohio with my <clears throat> family tree and uh, it's a swedish name and maybe you are listen now because the my on my mother's side uh, is it colombo ohio and uh, the sure name the last name uh, in her family tree is berg i don't know how you pronounce it b e r g it uh, means mountain in, in it's coming from germany lanches and berg and there there is it and then is it connected with evans um, the family name evans sure name last name is it in that branch and they are they li uh, they live because it's a uh, today people that have this sure name this last name 
Berg that lives in Colombo, Ohio. So uh, it's, uh, it's right of you to download the chapter because we are related, you and I. Maybe not the closest, but we are related in, in today connection, not far away. It's uh, in 2000, I think, uh, one of these Berg was, uh, she passed away 2013. So it's not far away, it's today. Her children and grandchildren live, lives to, live today in Ohio, Columbus. So it was true this. Uh, I had a chapter where I talking about Columbus, Ohio, that it was a related man that was uh, that started that city, and his name he was Columbus. He his name and he was there, and. Uh, it's very much Swedish descended people that have lived in and live in Columbus, Ohio. That's what I wanted to say also. That's why I started to recording one more chapter today. Let's see how long it will take till the next chapter. I only speak uh, to you if it's some something that have say to me, told me from heaven. I don't talk on my own. I I have some of this uh, narcissism and uh, psychology chapter also. But that I need to to uh, recording because I I want you to understand what's going on in your life that uh, cause you get so much problems in your life. You need to understand those dark forces that working around you that want you to fail want you to kill yourself, those things. You need to know what's going on, both from from heaven and from hell. Both of these exist in, in your life, and you need to know what to take away from those trash things that hit you the whole time. Uh, especially uh, people are most interesting to and it's it's this existential things that you can pay your bills every month and I understand that uh, God is not money but it's it's very important to could pay the bills and that is of, of God, because you need to have peace in your life. And you need to work for to get peace in your life, because the um, un, in balance, the, not, uh, your life is not fit in balance. It's um, very much irritating, anger, uh, stressful life you have. That's because you need to clean up, clean up your house. You need to clean up your body, body and what attack it. Uh, yes, I, I know why. I should not be the first to talk about it as I have so much going on 
that tried to hit me the whole time. But I, I tried to clean it up. And we can only try to clean it up and hope one day we, we have cleaning up everything. But we need to start to, today to clean up. And uh, so, uh, thank you for uh, listening, and God bless you.